Okay friends, I got a new mic. <laughs> Hope you can understand me. Okay, this is uh, another video. I will show you all my stoves. Okay, this is not a really museum. I will show you this. This is the office of my car repair shop. And I use the stoves for decoration. This one is spinner. The tent stove. Burning chamber. The secondary air riser. Regulated primary and the heater, cook plate, okay. This one is a Mexican stove, also made from a propane tank with a door. And these are the stoves I made few years ago this one okay this one in three parts the windscreen pot stand all in one bottom blade for saving the grass and this is the air regulation only the primary and this pipe in the middle is for extra secondary air. Works fantastic. Perhaps I will show you this in another video. This one, you know, from the tutorial video, the pot stands are. This and also with regulation. This one, you know, from a video, the folding stove. <laughs> This one, you know, the big one, the big brother <laughs> of this stove. Also with air in regulation, all in one. This cylinder is in the upper parts, the pot stand, the windscreen and the riser tube inside oh this one is no name <laughs> it was designed for making fire by camping not for cooking there's no pot stand no crown on it this is a pot stand this is no pot stand The air ratio between primary and secondary air is not one to four. It's really one to one. That's why the flame comes out in about this height here and makes wonderful light. Okay, what's the next? The next is this one. This one, you know, is the fire pit or fire bowl stove, also with legs for saving the grass. This one, you know, from a video, my rocket stove in the comments of this video, I have a really much input for 
tuning this stove I will do this and I will show you how it works this one is my new tent stove also made from propane tanks of course with two windows with a flap instead of the door and regulated air intake secondary primary and secondary in the rear these are pipes mounted on the chimney using the updraft effect and the heat will comes out here and will go upwards in the tent I hope it works it not be tested I will show you this stove or this oven in another video this is a project uh, a rocket stove with self filling this is the basket for the pellets and this is uh, the grill and you can see there are two pipes uh, this project is not at this end I will show you this how it works if it's ready and this is you know the fat boy modified now we'll show you this always close the bottom and with air regulation but the point is the inside this is a removable burning chamber with air ratio 1 by 4 1 to 4 Ega. and so you can see I hope you can see this moment the air regulation with this regulation I can regulate the primary and secondary air both in the same time And this is a pot stand windscreen like a turbine of just kidding <laughs> okay next one this is the stove you know is the 15 euro stove food container double wall are in primary secondary nearly one to four good for cooking the next this colored <laughs> by the heat you know this is the simple stove with slots for air in if the stove is loaded with wood you have more primary air in than secondary and if the wood burns down the relation changes to more secondary air it works very well okay this 
one <laughs> was to try to make it all in one stove. For cooking and for making a little campfire and watching the flames. There are two much primary air intakes and though uh, I kill the holes, close the holes, with screws, works quite well. You know this from a video, the one cup stove with a windscreen, if you know. Very, very easy, very simple. Just kidding. And this, these are twins. This is uh, my latest project. You know, so you can see there's a primary air intake and secondary air intake and in this mode is the stove good for cooking. I hope the flames comes not too much in the height and if I will see the flames at uh, the campfire uh, I have to change the primary and secondary air ratio. It's quite easy. In this mode is more primary and small secondary air. There is enough updraft and the flame comes in the height. The key of this stove is the flying bottom. This is the mod for lightning around and this is the mod for cooking. I will show you this in an extra video. I have built two stoves, the same stoves, and we can compare the two mods. Okay, I hope you like my stoves and I hope you like my ideas. If you have uh, more ideas what I can do from pipes, let me know this. Subscribe my channel. Leave a comment, please leave a comment. I will read and I will answer. And see you in one of the next videos. Um, you can vote for stove that you have seen in this museum and then I will make the first video from the stove you like. Okay friends, see you!